Hey everyone, what is going on? So, uh, yeah, we're doing another one of those discussion videos. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna dive right into it and, um, we'll see what we have going for this week. Now, beginning with a Mega Beedrill competition. Now, I know, uh, this is gonna make a lot of you happy that don't have it. Um, I, I plan on doing a couple, uh, Mega Beedrill attempts just because I, I want to show you, um, one with like an overpowered team, like a, usually do and one with like a weaker team maybe you have um you don't have like an, an advanced uh team maybe you're early in the game maybe you're a mid-game player and you want to secure the mega stone so i, I want to make sure you get the mega beedrill mega stone because mega beedrill is amazing it fully sped up it takes 12 mega speed ups it's a one one turn evolution you never use a mega start on it mega evolves in one turn i know you guys know this um so yeah you definitely want to go ahead and play this competition this is Definitely a really good one, so you don't want to skip out on this one. I mean, not a whole lot to say. Don't even focus on like the the raise max levels or the mega speed ups. I mean, those are nice if you get if you get them as well. But uh, the one you want is the mega stone. If you have the mega stone, uh, you could still play it for like a level up, and it's still uh, cool. You you might as well. So uh, yeah, really exciting uh, competition. So. You know, I'll, I'll definitely, definitely be uh, playing it as I just said because I want to make videos of it. So yeah, make sure you get the stone similar to the Mega Pinsa. You don't want to miss it. Uh, I was more hyped for Mega Pinsa obviously because it was new and we've been waiting for it. But Mega uh, Beedrill is definitely a Pokemon that you want to get hyped for. Uh, how many times have I used it, guys? You know it. So uh, definitely, definitely uh, play this competition. I can't stress it enough. Okay, so moving on, we have yet another winking uh, Unova Pokemon, Snivy. Now, Snivy also has a uh, flash mob, just like Winking, uh, Winking Tepig, but it can be skill swapped to Hammering Streak. So it's really good. If you, uh, farmed Chespin like I did, not Chespin, Turtwig, excuse me. If you farmed, uh, Winking Turtwig like I did, you don't need this one, but it's still good to have, uh, multiple Hammering Streak Pokemon on the same team because you want at least, I would say three, maybe two, two or three at least on your team, uh, even if it's the same type, because you want to keep on activating them, so it's still a good investment, it's still worth farming, even if you did Turtwig, uh, totally worth it, uh, totally recommend it if you're able to, uh, if you're able to, uh, yeah, to farm it. It's definitely probably one of the better events this week, so, uh, I'd keep it in mind, uh, even if you have the Turtwig, as I said, but, you know, that is Winking Snivy, and, you know, I love Snivy, so, just like I love Turtwig, so I, I, I'll probably go ahead and farm this for a little bit, we'll have to see, but anyway, moving on, we have Electivire. Now, Electivire is really one that you're probably not going to farm, um, yeah, it, it's just a Pokemon that's, really annoying to beat. It has a bunch of blocks and I, I'm not saying it's necessarily difficult if you have like Mega Aerodactyl or Shiny Mega Deonce, you can get rid of the blocks, but it's it's a little bit uh, annoying and it's not the greatest Pokemon in the world. I think it has Cross Attack. Maybe, it, I I, uh, I don't know what it has, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, I, it, I think it does get a new skill, but I don't think it's worth farming. It's either Cross Attack or something like that. Uh, maybe it does get Cross Attack plus with a new skill and in that case then it wouldn't be bad but it's still not worth it i would prioritize some other pokemon we have this week so i'd totally skip uh electivire if i were you that's my recommendation for that one so let's move on we have beedrill now obviously since we have mega beedrill as the competition we have the regular beedrill now obviously you know beedrill has swap or it could be skill swap no wait it has swap plus plus which is what you can skill swap it to and the original ability was a uh, block smash. <laughs> Excuse me. Why did I think it was swap? No, it's it is block smash, and you can skill swap it to swap plus plus. Now, it, it may get evolves in one turn if you have it fully invested. So, do you need block smash plus plus? No, you don't need it. But if you have the spare skill swappers, I, this is one to keep in mind. Uh, but again. I, I would still, I think Snivy is the better option just because you, you, Beedrill is amazing, but it's, it's mainly amazing for its mega evolution. So, um, I do have a Black Smash plus plus up there. I think it's level five or actually level four, something like that. I'm not too sure, but, um, yeah, it's definitely a good Pokemon and a good investment, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't focus on it compared to some other options we have this week. Uh, yeah, I would, I would, I would catch it obviously because you definitely want Beedrill, even if you don't have the mega speed ups to fully invest in it. You still want to catch it because you will eventually. So it's a really good Pokemon, obviously. So definitely go ahead and pick it up. And it's not really difficult. Although it is a time stage, some people don't like time stages. Uh, I I personally like time stages. But uh, yeah, I would definitely grab him. Uh, 
you know, you definitely pick him up, yeah. I, and yeah, as I just said, he shouldn't be difficult, so he should be able to, to nab it. And uh, moving on, we do have Shiny Deontay. Now, this was actually an escalation, but it's not anymore. So now you can actually farm Shiny Deontay. I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be like a boss stage, but uh, obviously easier. That's what I would assume. Uh, I, I don't see it being too difficult, but we'll have to see... Um, you know, it's really cool. If you already farmed Shiny Deontay in the Escalation, obviously you're going to pass right on this one. But, you know, it's still good. So, uh, I, I would totally recommend farming it. It's, it's you know, it, it does have Block Shot, so you know how good Block Shot is. And even if it didn't, even if it wasn't worth farming, it's still an awesome Mega, so you do want to grab it. Uh, hopefully you have the Mega Stone. If you don't have the Mega Stone, it's a little bit unfortunate. But, um... Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to pick this up, whether or not you have the Mega Stone, because it's still good with Block Shot. And um, depending on how it is to to farm, if it's easy or you know medium, if it's not too difficult, it is worth farming totally. Uh, yeah, this and Snivy are the ones that you want to prioritize uh, this week, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that is Shiny Deontay. Really cool to have it back, similar to Keldeo. Instead of an, an Escalation, now it's in a great challenge. So that's really nice. Uh, that's really nice, gives people another chance to farm them as well. So moving on, we have another new Pokemon. Well, actually, this is the, the only new Pokemon this week, unless you count Winking Snivy, but Snivy technically isn't new, even though the Winking variant is. But anyway, we have Bruxious. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correct. Um, it's it's one of the most forgettable Alolan Pokemon, at least at least to me. Uh, to me, it is. Uh, maybe you guys like it. I'm not a huge fan of this Pokemon. Uh, I don't know why. I just I just didn't really like it uh, too much when they introduced Sun and Moon. But um, yeah, it does have Mega Boost Plus Plus, so it's actually not bad if you do max it out. So you could also farm this one. But again, uh, similar to Beedrill, I think the Priority is Shiny Deontay and Winking Snivy. I've said that multiple times already. So, um, yeah, it's it's not a bad Pokemon. Uh, it is good, but it, it, I don't see many people investing in it, if that makes sense. So, I, I'm not going to farm it. If it was the only one available, like if Snivy and, uh, yeah, if Snivy wasn't available this week, you know, or next week, I probably would farm it. But, you know, since Snivy is, I gotta prioritize that. I don't, yeah, I, I have to, guys. I have to. So, um, yeah, Puxious. I'm not going to farm, but I'm definitely going to catch it. And with that, one step closer, one step closer to uh, to completing the Pokédex. So that is awesome. And yeah, so moving on from Bruxers, you know, we have uh, Lunala. So obviously, it makes sense for Lunala to come back since we had Sogalio, or we have Sogalio, Sogalio currently going on. So um, Lunala is another Ultra Challenge. So. You know, it's probably going to be uh, difficult. In fact, it is difficult, of course, because I've played the stage several times. So it's another stage. It has Phantom Combo. Is it good? Yes. But it's one that is even good at skill level 1, so you don't need to farm it, in my opinion. I wouldn't farm it. Uh, if you guys disagree, uh, you could totally go ahead and farm it. Like, if you're able to consistently beat this itemless, you could do it. But even if... You know, I was able to beat it itemless consistently. I wouldn't farm it just because it doesn't have a great drop rate for an Ultra Challenge. I think it's 25, 25, uh, something like that. And that's, that's not bad, but for an Ultra Challenge, it's not good. So, you know, you kind of expect like 50% at least, at the minimum. So, they used to do 100%, uh, percent, a guaranteed drop on Ultra Challenges. Uh, uh, not the case anymore for the most part, but yeah, Lunale, uh, Good Pokemon. We have other uh, multipliers like Sinister Power, which covers Phantom Combo, uh, which you know you, we have other you know you could farm like Zorwark and other Pokemon that that you know that are easier to beat than uh, Lunala. So I totally wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I'm sure if you're able to beat Lunala Itemless, you probably have like a Typeless Combo Pokemon maxed out, and that's going to take priority o over Phantom Combo. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. But um. You know, it is cool to have Lunala back. If you're trying to catch it, I recommend going in with more items than not, similar to so Sogaleo, just because you want to uh, be able to catch it, because it does have a low catch rate, uh, from what I remember. So, uh, you know, I went full items. I'm not saying you need the complexity, but uh, the more items, the better, in my opinion. You, uh, it, it all depends on your team. If you want to post your team down below uh, before you go ahead and take on Lunala, I'll, I'll let you know what I think and what items I, I think that you might need. I'll be more than ha happy to help you out. But uh, yeah, that is Lunala. That is the Ultra Challenge for the week. 
So now we have another safari. Now, there's nothing new in this safari. It's a bunch of Pikachus. We have uh, the original cap Pikachu, which is cool because that was actually a gift. We have the Hoenn cap, Sinnoh cap, Unova cap, Kalos cap, and um, um, Alola cap, which is which is the best one in my opinion. Shout out. So you definitely want that. And we have uh, the Winky. I, I think it's uh, the smiling one, the surprised one uh, a bunch of uh, random pikachus uh, so yeah i would totally recommend going for the ones you need why not i mean you go into a safari these probably won't be too difficult to get uh let me know if if you want me to cover the safaris usually i don't because i don't really want to spend the hearts uh, uh just because i have these pokemon so i don't want to spend hearts on the ones that um that I already have just for a video, but uh, I was actually thinking about doing it. So if you want to see this fight with all of the Pokemon, I'm, I'm totally going to be uh, doing that beginning next week. So uh, yeah, totally, uh, definitely let me know that. Uh, yeah, so anyway. That is the Safari. Definitely pick up that Alola cap. Even the other cap Pikachus are good, so uh, you might as well pick up all of them. Uh, like the Hoenn cap, you know, you could skip the Kalos cap because it has Cloud Shot, but if you see it, you might as well catch it. I'm not sure which one is, is the rare one. I would assume it would be the good ones, but who knows? It could be <laughs> the surprised one. That used to be a rare one, but I don't know. Either way, we do have all of the Pikachus back, so that's really cool. Um, you know, who who doesn't love Pikachu, right? Um, anyway, moving on, we do have Pinsa, and Pinsa is back, which is awesome. It should have come back when Mega Pinsa came uh, as a competition, but it's back now. So if you got the Mega Stone, but you, you don't have Pinsa, good news, you'll be able to get Pinsa next week. Uh, and obviously, you want to grab it, you know, uh, if you don't have it just because... Mega Pins is awesome. Even if you don't have the Mega Speed Ups to invest in, I've mentioned this before, you definitely want to go ahead and uh, catch this because you will at some point in the future have the enough investment for this Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, that is Pinsa for you. And moving on from Pinsa, it is once a day, by the way. Uh, it is once a day. So, uh, yeah, it, I, I believe it gets easier each day you catch it and you can drop personalized skill boosters. So it does have bug, bug combo if you skill swap it or power four. I wouldn't skill swap it. Um, I, neither ability is really great, but I, I feel like power four is a little bit better prior to make it evolving, but uh, totally up to you. Um, but, and I, I don't think it's worth the skill swap, uh, honestly, but, and last, but certainly not least, we have the daily Pokemon as we do every week. We have Why Not, Torcoil, uh, Zangoose, Love Disk, and Zav uh, Survivor. And these Pokemon can drop, uh, coins. They, they can drop gifts, but you also get 200 coins f for beating them every day. So you might as well, uh, the first time you play them. So you might as well play them at least once a day. Why not? Uh, it, it only costs a heart and you, you're guaranteed the 200 coins and then you can get gifts. So you could get like a red gift with 2000 coins. It's going to happen sooner or later. So you might as well play them, right? I mean, there's really no reason, uh, not to, uh, play them. So yeah, it's really cool. I usually don't play them. I, I should actually do that. But uh, anyway, it, it it's really cool, I guess. Uh, really exciting week, actually, Actually, in my opinion. Uh, more so than this week, I think. Uh, besides, like, the Zygarde Escalation, which is still going to be going on. So you do have two weeks to complete it or whatnot uh, if you want to really max out that typeless combo. So... Yeah, really exciting week. Let me know what you're most excited for. For me, it's got to be, it has to be the Winking Snivy, even though I already have Turtwig. Uh, just because I don't really need anything else. I mean, I am excited for Bruxious, not necessarily for the ability, but I'm, I'm excited for it just because it, we're one step closer, as I said earlier, in completing the Pokédex. So that is really, really cool. I'm so excited. So excited, so excited uh, to finally have this. After this one, there's just two unreleased Pokemon. And I also have another Pokemon Shuffle video that I'm currently working on that should be out this week. Um, it's kind, of, it's something different uh, it's, that I haven't done before. I think it's uh, really exciting, so I can't wait to release it. And um, yeah, we there's a lot I wanted to discuss with that. Uh, but yeah, I'll release that soon, and I hope you guys look forward to it, and I really appreciate you watching. By the way, we did pass 1,100 subscribers, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you all for your support. Uh, it means so much to me. I can't thank you enough. I will be covering other things like the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I hope you join me in the conversation in those games and uh, the discussion videos of those. I do plan on doing Pokemon Quest as well. So, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Bye.